Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we're getting our uh, Phantom on, so I am going to enjoy every second of this video. We have another one here from Hobby Master in 172nd scale Diecast, of course. We have ourselves an F4J Phantom from VMFA 235 Death Angels. Now, they were a United States Marine fighter attack squadron formed originally during World War II in 1943, uh, flying Dauntlesses. Now, in 1968, they were equipped with the F-4 Phantoms, which they flew until 1989, uh, when they transitioned to the F-18 Hornets. Uh, VMFA-235 would be decommissioned in 1996. Now, our aircraft here would fly with the Death Angels until 1977, when it would be upgraded to a F-4S, and in 1991, it would be converted into a drone, and it would eventually be shot down in 2001. So uh, this beast, no more. But this beast, there is, oh, this, this is brand new. There is some tissue paper in there. <laughs> Better get that out. And uh, oh, this does look awesome. This is uh, a brand new model, so it should be still available pretty readily. So I reckon we open this box up and get our hands on this awesome looking Death Angels Phantom. Already with this Phantom out of the box, it does come with the usual uh, stand, of course. It also does come with the baggie of ordnance, which does look like it's going to be a, another fantastic uh, set of ordnance that we've got to chuck on one of these cool Phantoms. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Sweet. Let's chuck that out of the way. And it does come with some instructions. The generic instructions I... Assume, which it is, yep, just that generic instructions. So, yep, whack it on pause. If you do not have any, we'll turf that out of the way. We'll get this lid open and have a little look at that. Oh, yeah. That Marines Phantom looks tough. Now, as I said, this is brand new, so it still has some little cellophane stuff over the landing gear options. Of course, your little pilots in there. Canopy options, the usual deal with these Phantoms. And this awesome, let's see if we can get it out. Oh, finally. That come out really nice, actually which is really good because it's always nervous getting a brand new one out. They can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Check out that. Yep. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> this does look fantastic. The details, the usual absolutely killer details from Hobby Master. Whew. It's beautiful tail markings. The paint application is really crisp and clear. It looks absolutely spot on. Check out that nose. Wow. That is a uh, red nose for sure. Now inside it does have the usual uh, cockpit details that these Phantoms do have. We've seen inside a lot of these cockpits so far because I have done a few Phantoms, haven't I? I am partial to a Phantom. But boy, this Death Angels one, that looks fantastic. Check out that. That looks sweet. Some awesome detail. This paint scheme is beautiful. Comes up a treat. As the usual uh, engine detail and everything, we'll flip her over and have a look underneath. The usual details underneath here. Yeah, this is going to be awesome to set up. And speaking of that, let's do it. We'll set this up in flight and chuck some ordnance on this and come right back. All right, here we have this awesome Death Angels Phantom set up to, uh, geez, bring some NVA a world of hurt. Look at that set up. That is beautiful. It was very, very straightforward to put your ordnance on. They all dropped in their um, specific allocated areas with no hassles, no fitment issues. Uh, they all went in there beautifully. Um, front nose gear bay door went on all right. The only, I suppose, issue I do have is maybe the main gear bay doors. They do uh, sort of sit out a little bit. I don't know if that's more just so it's easy for you to get it back out when you put gear down or um, to get them out. But that is probably the only issue I would say that um, they don't fit 100%. But maybe that's the way it's meant to be. I'm just sort of uh, just trying to point that out that the fitment does look a little bit wonky with those areas at times. But for me, that's not an issue because I have mine geared down, so I don't use those parts in my display. And of course, if you do want to put it on the stand, well, you've got to take the ordnance off. And speaking of ordnance, you do get a special uh, extra bit of ordnance with this too. We'll take that off. So that's your, your central tank. 
but you do get this rack here which i am assuming does go in that position as well so if you really want to set this up as a bomb truck that is how she is going to look that does look pretty cool we'll pull that out and of course if you want to put it on the stand though you do take the there is those little um plugs in there that you take out and then you can uh, put it on your stand and that's how the stand does sit of course you can't keep any central ordnance on there uh, apparently they these make great canoes anyway with your old jettison fuel tanks uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> the vietnamese people ended up uh, making little boats out of them just a little bit of use, useless information i thought i'd share but uh, i reckon this does look absolutely killer um sausage finger test it does come up quite nicely for a phantom these are really nice looking models hobby master do these phantoms justice but what we'll do is we'll quickly chuck some uh, landing gear in this so we can check this out gear down and wind up the video for you guys all right, here we have it, gear down, uh, the usual deal. It's just your main landing gear, drops straight in. These are the newer ones, so it does have that uh, piece that the strut's already attached to, so you just plonk that straight in. The wheels, of course, don't move or anything. And then you've got your two little uh, gear bay doors that you just put in. And then your nose wheel, you just drop that in, and then the little door there, and that is gear down. And, of course, you put those little uh, grommets in, like the little hole covers for your... Um, stand you put those in so they cover that because we're not using the stand when you're having a gear down and that is how she sets up gear down really straightforward it does look really nice i like the uh, gear down setup uh, well because that's how i display mine anyway and i put the open canopy on you put that open canopy piece on there and the rear one just lifts up and that gives you access to the inside there it does have the usual great level of detail in there beautiful Coloured armoured glass on that front screen always looks good. Does stand out against that bright red nose too. This overall, a fantastic looking Marines F4 Phantom. I reckon this is tough. Alright, so I'll uh, wind this video up by taking some photos of this awesome Death Angels F4 Phantom. And you can uh, check them out at the end of the video if you're interested in looking at uh, nice detailed photos. If you're not interested in looking at photos, stop watching now. <laughs> Alright everyone, um, if you did enjoy what you did watch, uh, don't forget one of those or a couple of those somewhere down there and always feel free to comment as well as uh, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel if you have yet to do so and you're enjoying the videos that you do see and I myself did enjoy this phantom today because I do like myself a phantom all right I'll uh, wind this video up by saying a thank you everyone for uh, spending your valuable time in watching the video if you did make it this far you will hear these words if you quit early you won't hear these thanks all right <laughs> uh, well I appreciate everyone that does watch this far all right, people, once again, thanks for watching, and you all have an awesome rest of your day. Cheers. Cheers.